rather than repent, the unbelievers and their leaders choose to insult the Holy Spirit, calling it air, gases, and all sort of names to feel comfortable in their false self-made camps. IPHC is the kingdom of God in a literal sense, not family business or empire. Jesus came from Joseph family but there is no such thing as Joseph empire or whatever surname he was just because Jesus came from that family. Moses had two sons, but none was chosen, no such thing as Moses empire, priest Eli had two sons, but none was chosen, no such thing as priest Eli empire. Samuel also had two sons, none proved to be worthy, Bible tells us they were greedy and loved money, none was chosen, no such thing as Samuel empire and yet they served God for many years, just like our comforter. Even our comforter said the leader of IPHC is God himself not Madai's, the surname of Madai's doesn't work in this kingdom, only unbelievers have a different interpretation of such simple clear statement. They can twist anything to feel comfortable in their false self-made camps. Our comforter also had two sons, none was anointed, besides being Madai's, Photoshop pic mixes, pictures taken with their father during weddings and graduations, and bearing their grandfather names given, there is nothing spiritual for them to show. The comforter was anointed as a priest at age 26 years by his father the founder if not slightly mistaken, and these sons were both already in their thirties when our comforter left us in flesh without anointing any one of them as priests. It is no secret Cheperso disrespected his father in public, it's no secret Leonard is a liar, and was a disappointment to our comforter. Actually there is an audio in which our comforter expresses his disappointment in Cheperso for not having been what his father wanted him to be, and in the audio our comforter expresses how he thought Leonard was going to be better but he is also the same, directionless and irresponsible. <laughs> Come <laughs> Chepiso's obsession with power and the throne clouded his judgment, he roguishly recorded our comforter in the most solemn occasions. Even worse Chepiso could not differentiate between blessings and admonishment. In this audio clip, our father says Chepiso must grow up. Chepiso appears to have known this himself too as in his speech on the funeral he said the days of being a boy are over, unfortunately it is too late for him. He failed to please and respect his father while still in flesh. Our father takes him through his good history with his father, at a very tender age he was already seriously engaged in helping his father to run the church. 
He cautioned Chepiso that as the eldest son he should be more responsible. Our comforter lays out the conditions for Chepiso to be respected by all people. And our comforter says he was still planning, this goes to prove that our comforter didn't forget anything, and intentionally didn't anoint these boys because they were all unworthy. Chepiso was already old man this time, in his late thirties, this audio was captured long after Leonard's so-called anointment wedding, even in the face of such glaring evidence about Leonard and Chepiso, uttered by our comforter whom the factions claim to follow his word, the imposter's supporters intentionally ignore their supporters ignore these crucial information questioning key attributes of a leader, the character and righteousness of the person, they would rather occupy themselves with analyzing innocent pictures taken during good family times, analyzing what grandfather's name was given to whom, how less of important second name of the grandfather is, and that taking first of name of grandfather implies you are destined for the throne one, yet other older family members were given same names, and never claimed to imply automatic anointment. One wonders whether this people expected our comforter to hate his own children, not give them names, nor encourage them to live in the right way, nor to celebrate their success, because it's all coming back now to decide who takes over, it looks like the more pictures captured with comforter, more better option you are. Fact is there is nothing spiritual for them to show. They desperately groping in the dark for any small excuse to impose themselves on us, Chepiso in court papers claims he was anointed in private family meeting, no proof to this day. Leonard claims he was anointed in dreams, IPHC could be having many leaders if dreamers were to be taken seriously, it is interesting how the courts will deal with this one. As for Mike, same WhatsApp group, he lied his way on the throne, took advantage of people's desperation for a leader, and their lack of faith in Holy Spirit to lead them. Truth and fear of God is it takes for kingdom of God to prosper. He claims he is Comforter's son, they believe him without proof, he said he had a will and DVD to prove anointment nothing to this today. All of them were made priests by the same priests who mislead children of God. And their answer is, even Jesus was baptized by John, but John was born to perform that spiritual task and was an honest servant of God unlike the priest. There is a saying that people who live in glass houses should not throw stones. Well it seems not to be the case with these IPHC factions. Their lack of rationality is not astonishing, how can one manufacture lies in the house of the Lord, insult the Holy Spirit, and still be in their right mind? All of these camps can easily identify the mistakes of others, while they themselves are guilt of same thing, a Leonard support can passionately tell you Mike is a liar while Leonard is a publicly known liar, same with Mike passionately tell Leonard is liar while they still don't have a will, same with Chepiso, it is publicly known he never respected his father but they can tell how disrespectful Leonard's behavior is. It boggles my